what I tell y'all, the GOAT is back. Adrian Broner with a dominant performance right there. This past weekend, Adrian Broner over Bill Hutchinson. But before we start discussing that, we are all takes, no whiffs. I'm Christian. That's Alex. And yeah, uh, the Adrian Broner back in the win column after a, what is it, a two-year layoff, I'm pretty sure? Two-year. Two-year two layoff. Two-year layoff. And honestly, I, I feel like most people in the boxing world have kind of been forgetting who Adrian Broner was. But nah, he reminded us what's up with a dominant performance over Bill Hutchinson. You know, the scorecards makes it look like it was basically a sweep. And it kind of was. Probably should have been. Yeah, not necessarily because Adrian Broner came back in this fantastic way. Just it was like we said, the fact that he fought an attorney. That's just <laughs> that's just really how it went, to be honest. There's not too much to say. I don't think there's too much to gauge off of Broner's performance. And yeah, we saw him back in the ring, though. I guess we could say that. Yeah, I mean, we saw him back in the ring. He looked rusty. I mean, that was going to be a mm-hmm. given being two years away from the ring. Going up against, like we said, an attorney, a lawyer, didn't really look like he should have been in the ring, even though he had like 20 wins, and I think it was like four losses. Um, Honestly, he kind of gassed out there at the end of the fight, too. I mean, that was probably expected, too, since he hadn't been in for a while. But, I mean, did what he needed to do. I mean, Adrian Broner is always going to put on a show. He's always going to talk his shit. And then, obviously, at the end of the fight, the post-interview, I mean, we all... He's going to put on a show there, calling out every single top guy at uh, this weight division. So it's just kind of interesting how he's going to call out all these guys. Don't think he's ready for any of them yet. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely needs some type of tune-up fight. Maybe a guy who's not an attorney um, would be a little <laughs> better. So, uh, I mean, that would help. Yeah, I mean, there's not really too much more to get into this besides who we kind of want to see Broner fight next. So who who do you not really got anyone in mind, but... Javante Davis. Oh my. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm messing uh, for Broner's sake, I don't want to see that. But, yeah, I just mm-hmm. I would say just somewhere between so, – uh, a step up from what he just fought, probably like a decent step, but not too big of a step. I was going to say a pretty big step from that maybe. Yeah, because it's an attorney. Like, like what's next, the, the cafeteria lady or something? Like, <laughs> hey, you never know. I don't know. Hey, I don't I know about a lady. Know. I don't know about a lady, though. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey uh yeah uh not a lady maybe uh not a lawyer as well I, i'll say that for sure adrian broner needs to fight a full-time boxer and i think him getting his feet wet like this is good yeah i mean i agree i mean like i said too i want to see him fight someone a little better not a lawyer not an attorney some an actual boxer full-time guy so it'll be nice to see that eventually hopefully we'll see broner back in the ring soon because this guy is uh, always one to put on a show for us yeah, through the good and the bad, Adrian Broner is a name that's going to stay in boxing until he announces his retirement, in my opinion. And I can't, I just can't wait to see what he does next. So until then, peace. Peace.